Hello, good afternoon everyone. I am Trupti Vagmare, Aka Tito and wish you all a very happy International Women's Day 2021. On this occasion, we, Indian Ladies Association Belgium, Indian Association Luxembourg, Dutch Indian Women Association Netherlands would like to dedicate this day to our unsung heroes of Indian fraternity, our medical staff of Indian diaspora from Belgium and Luxembourg. We have stood rock solid, strong amidst their family chores and managed their duties during this pandemic. Today's exciting event will include felicitation, announcement of winners of the two creative events that we have organized followed by a foot-tapping cultural program for the relaxing evening. We are proud to be associated with Embassy of India to EU, Belgium and Luxembourg, and are deeply honored to have the Ambassador of India to Belgium, Luxembourg and the European Union, His Excellency Santosh Jha as our chief guest. Honorable Ambassador, Santosh Jha Sir assumed the position of Ambassador of India to Belgium, Luxembourg and European Union on 17th July 2020. Prior to coming to Brussels, he was Ambassador of India in Uzbekistan from July 2019 to July 2020. Earlier from July 2017 to June 2019, he served as a Deputy Chief of Mission at the Embassy of Washington, D.C. with a personal rank of Ambassador. Ambassador Sir also has the pleasure of serving an, at the Indian Embassy in Brussels earlier from 2010 to 2013. When he was the Deputy Chief of Mission between 2013 and 2017, Ambassador Sir headed several divisions in the Ministry of External Affairs from July 2013 to September 2014. He headed the Ministry of External Affairs Division for Human Resources and Management Affairs from October 2014 to April 2015. He headed the Ministry of External Affairs Division for Relations with Western European, Europe and European Union. We would like to welcome the speech from Honorable Ambassador Sir Mr. Santosh Jha. Good evening, Namaskar. Let me first of all thank you for inviting me to the online digital event for celebration of International Women's Day 2021 by the Indian Ladies Association Belgium. Let me also use the opportunity to convey my heartfelt and warmest greetings to all of you on this occasion. I'd also like to extend my best wishes to Mrs. Trupti Wagmare, President and Founder of Indian Ladies Association Belgium, and other representatives of the Indian Ladies Association for putting together this celebration. Let me also extend my warmest greetings to the guest speakers on this occasion. I also wish to thank and welcome members of the Indian Diaspora and all friends of India in Belgium and Europe for joining us in our virtual celebrations today. Friends, no words can convey the importance of women in our lives and society. Their multifaceted personalities shine forth in all their roles, co-workers or entrepreneurs, and of course as friends, mothers, sisters, wives, daughters, to name a few. In India, I was pleasantly surprised recently to learn that 40% of STEM graduates are women, which is the highest in the world. However, unfortunately, this does not yet translate into workplace participation, and more efforts obviously are needed in this direction. Experts around the world are unanimous in their assessment of the impact this may have on productivity as well as on economic growth rates. I can assure you that the Government of India is deeply committed to promoting gender parity and has initiated several programs and policies to ensure 
rapid progress in this regard in less than a generation. Any conversation cannot be complete at this time without a reference to the COVID-19 pandemic and the pressures that it has exerted on all aspects of our living. But despite the difficult circumstances of the past year, there remains something to celebrate, namely the role of women and the role they, ha and the role they have played in these times. Even during the last major crisis in Europe, that is the Second World War, women showed what they were capable of, given half the chance as they stepped into what would traditionally be considered men's jobs. In today's context, arguably the heroes, or rather heroines of this pandemic, have been the frontline workers. In Europe alone, it is estimated that 76% of frontline workers are women. I would like to believe that the story in India, too, would be quite similar. All these women, as health work care workers, elderly care home staff workers, are putting their lives on the line to serve. I would like to acknowledge and appreciate the contribution made by the Indian women in Belgium to these efforts. Not only Belgium, but India is also very proud of you for your selfless duty in the face of this adversity. Without taking much more time, I would once again wish all the participants and virtual audiences a very happy International Women's Day. Let us celebrate women every day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable time. It means a lot to our organization and to the entire Indian diaspora. Moving further, now we have wonderful guest speakers, eminent personalities from different fields with their messages. We have Melissa Rancott. She is a philanthropic entrepreneur, STEM advocate, and is a founder and board president of Greenlight for Girls. She is also a motivational speaker, trainer, and moderator for the European Commission and the Parliament. Many and many distinguished organization. She was a speaker at Cannes International Festivals of Creativity in France and Next Web in Amsterdam. She is a TEDx speaker for Brussels and Luxembourg and United Nations speaker for human rights. Let's welcome her to speak with us. Hi, my name is Melissa Rancourt, and it's such a pleasure to be with you here today. I'd like to thank all of you, members of the Indian Ladies Association Belgium, and a special mention to Trapti Wagmar and Charu Kosla, who asked me to join you today. This event is in honor of the healthcare workers for International Women's Day, and I believe it's also an excellent reminder of the importance of community. We always need community, but especially at moments in life like now. I've lived in Brussels for the past 18 years, and during these years, I've had the chance to create new businesses, projects, and societal endeavors that feed my passion and benefit from my skills and experiences, and most importantly, provide opportunity for others. But before I go into a bit more about my background, I wanted to tell you why I was especially thrilled to be speaking with you today, um, for you, the Indian Ladies Association Belgium. I have a special connection to India, and for many years, India has been a country and culture that has fascinated me, and one that I've always wanted to experience by traveling to and meeting others. My first trip to India was 10 years ago, which became the first of many. And I have vivid sensory memories and gratitude of each moment that I've experienced my during my travels to India. And it was my very first trip that led to an epiphany to create one of my businesses today, where I felt that sudden spark to create something that was important to me, which led to even more ideas uh, that helped others. And this led me to what I do today. So today I feel blessed to be very busy helping others as one of the owners of Serendip Spa and Yoga, as a professor and director for an executive university degree, as an entrepreneur and engineer running my own project management company, and as the founder of a nonprofit that encourages young world, women around the world to study science. 
And it's in this last endeavor, Greenlight for Girls, that I wanted to make special mention as we're so thankful to work around the world reaching more than 58,000 girls in 34 countries. And within India, we've conducted inspiring events for girls in Bangalore, Rajasthan, Goa, Mumbai, New Delhi, Kudalore, Ankleshwar, uh, Dharampur, Noida, Calicut, and we have a special scholarship program in India that helps girls in impoverished communities go to university. And I'm so proud. These girls are now science teachers, engineers, programmers, leaders in their community. Even with all the good going on, and there is plenty, it's also a really strange time right now. So when people ask, ask me how I'm doing, and I'm grateful to have people around me who ask me how I'm doing, the word that always comes to mind is roller coaster. There are days that are good and days that aren't. And even within one day, we can experience pendulum swings of hope and worry. I know that I do. And many of us are going through the exact same thing. Uh, so let me put my well-being hat on as an owner of Serendip. We need to remind ourselves to make time for our own self-care. Start by supporting yourself by making that me time a priority. If it's 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes, but it's your 10 minutes. And also take solace by knowing that you are not alone. One way to find motivation, energy, inspiration is to seek it and to give it to others. And this is why community is important and why I'd like to focus on this word for today's event. We need to create a community around us that supports us, such as your membership group. And be a listening ear to someone, share your worries with someone. Together, we can form a strong bond of support that can guide us through these roller coaster moments. Together, and in celebration of International Women's Day, let us lift up each other. Thank you for asking me to be a part of your very special event. Thank you, Melissa, for the wonderful thoughts you have shared with us. And now we have Ms. Jo Everett, founder of Anatel and Baby, British midwife and lactation consultant, and Manel Maselmi. She's a researcher in environmental humanities and American studies. She's a blogger on MENA issues at Europa Blog. She is a project partner at UNICESCO for environmental issues and advisor of parliament, parliamentarian at the European Union Parliament on the issues like MENA. She has received the top human rights awards in 2018 and is ambassador respect zone in Belgium. Hello. Thank you so much for asking me to talk to uh, you on this wonderful day of celebration, the International Women's Day. I'm Jo Everett. I'm a midwife and lactation consultant and I've been working here for the last 10 years. My role is to care, prepare and support women throughout their journey from pregnancy, childbirth and beyond. And how I meet Indian families is not during my preparation courses. I would like to meet them then, but I don't. I see them Unfortunately, in crisis times, when their breastfeeding isn't going well, I'm sure those of us who've had babies appreciate that that first month can be really difficult. And I see these women who are um, fairly destroyed. Their husbands are also destroyed because their husbands are taking on the role of um, something that they never thought that they would do. It's not their traditional role to help breastfeeding. Um, there's no family members here. Uh, their family members are on um, video calls with them all the time, but it's the practical help that they really need, the hands-on help from health professionals. Um, so I, I see them then, um, and this I work closely with them until the problem is solved. Um, but what I do see is, is, is the husband um, really struggling, and if we can support the husband, then that helps support the woman. Now, I know that you do a, a, a wonderful job with this. How do I meet that need? Okay, not only do I do the paid work, but I also run a community of um, 1,600 expats, um, and particularly on the recycle and donation front. When I have a family in need, I ask my community for what I need. And then I get, make sure the family gets that, that, that support free. Um, so donated items, you know, breastfeeding, pumps, um, strollers, cots, clothes, um, 
the expat community really, really want to help. And I know that your community does exactly the same um, in, a, in a much bigger way than I, than, than I can. Um, so that's where I, I fit in with all of this. Um, and I love caring for my families and just making sure that they are happy at the end of it. So thank you again for allowing me to talk. And I want to say a special grateful thank you to Dr. Monica, who has been my friend and colleague for so very long now, and she never stops helping me and supporting me. So thank you to you and have a wonderful International Indian Women's Day. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm really happy and excited to take part in the International Conference on the occasion of International Women's Day tomorrow at 4 p.m. together with influential uh, women uh, speakers, but also with His Excellency, the Ambassador of India to the EU. Um, during this event, we will speak about um, uh, influential women, but also we will speak about how to empower women all over the globe. I believe that uh, women in conflict zones and women in different parts of the world don't have the same support and they need to have more support in terms of gender equality, in terms of education, in terms of empowerment. So I think that we have to share um, the techniques of empowering women, we have to share the pratiques, but also we have to share our experiences, our powerful stories, uh, our um, uh, inspiration. Women can be very inspirational, um, even in conflict zone. And during the pandemic, a lot of women have uh, gone through many difficult experiences, but they became stronger thanks to solidarity, to sisterhood, to um, coexistence and to brotherhood. So I believe that women, no matter their uh, culture, no matter their uh, religious uh, affiliation, no matter their color, they can come together and support each other to uh, overcome the difficulties, to fight against climate change, to um, support uh, the new generation of young uh, women and girls to have a dream, to be successful, uh, to, uh, to be uh, influential, to be po uh, a politician, an entrepreneur, uh, or a media campaigner. So no matter what your dream is, you need to be supported, especially by women. And on, on this uh, occasion, for the International Day, Women's Day, we need to support each other, we need to come together, and we need to show uh, evidence and to show uh, love and respect to women all over the world, but also to support gender equality, to support uh, uh, women uh, empowerment, and also to support uh, young women and girls education, education, education. After those wonderfully motivating messages from this dynamic woman, let's move on to our main event. And here are some of our unsung heroes from the Indian diaspora. Dr. Monica Lamba Saini, Principal Investigator Pathologist. Dr. Shweta Parik, a Specialist Physician. Dr. Ketki Apte, Regional Study Coordinator. Dr. Meenu Singh, Biotechnologist. Dr. Akriti Varshi, Psychologist from Luxembourg. Meghna Shankar, a Researcher. Emmanuel Sophie, a nurse from Luxembourg. Sneha Sara Kose, nurse. Reshmi Abraham, nurse. Anu Kaitak Koti, nurse. Dasina Anudev, nurse. Saumya Vijayan, nurse. Shami Job, nurse. Nibi Vargis, nurse.
we all know coming from indian indian education background settling in europe with the language barrier and the language change is not easy but these ladies have made and proved themselves by doing everything possible to settle in the foreign land and make india proud we are sharing few stories from these wonderful ladies let's hear from them hello everyone myself dr shweta parikh i am staying in belgium since 2012 and i am from gujarat india i am working as occupational health physician uh, in brussels region of belgium i i am very much uh, uh, thankful to indian uh, ladies group of association for approaching me to speak about myself on this special occasion <clears throat> i started my journey from very remote uh, village of gujarat uh, it's in panchmal district and from there i studied my medicine in surat government medical college and then i came here after my marriage to belgium yeah of course this, this journey was not so simple it was flooded with uh, very much struggles but uh, all the struggles um uh, has been uh, tackled with a uh, strong determination and uh, with um high focus on uh, on my goal and uh, also uh i would like to say that uh, there was also support of my family my husband my child my parents uh, my um uh, uh, parents in law my uh, mother in law so um i would like to say that uh, if we have uh, uh, strong determination and if we think that uh, i want to achieve this thing it is always possible there is uh, uh, difficult there are difficulties but it is always possible to find the way if we want to achieve that thing so please go through your uh, journey uh, to achieve the goal and uh, enjoy the process of to achieving the goal language is really a barrier in this country but you can get through it with your hard work so there is no option for the hard work and uh, i would like to say that uh, empowerment of women is basically to be able to ha- take a decision and make it correct so whatever decision that that doesn't matter like it it is right or wrong decision but it is your in your hand to make it possible right so uh, i'm uh, finally i would like to thank that uh, i hope i can inspire and i can motivate somebody uh, with this message and uh, with uh, corona pandemic i want to share that uh, please keep continue with the social distancing hand hygiene and wearing a mask and please get vaccinated whenever you get chance to to get vaccine and finally thank you so much for hearing me and honoring me on this special occasion thank you so much bye bye have a nice day hello and warm greetings to everyone out there on the occasion of international women's day i am akriti vashni and i am a practicing psychologist for the past 13 years and i have been practicing here in luxembourg for the past 5 years in my own independent practice in the gar area i see individuals with uh, different kinds of mental health and emotional health issues ranging from anxiety stress depression uh, post traumatic stress etc 2020 as we all know was an exceptional year for all of us and it brought with it its own challenges and one of the biggest challenge as a humanity we all faced was the challenge of dealing with our mental health personally in my own practice i witnessed an increase in the number of cases of individuals experiencing covid related anxiety covid related depression and also individuals who were infected with covid and were experiencing post traumatic stress because of the experience probably they had at the hospital and during the illness 2020 was a very difficult time for the patients as well as well as for practitioners or psychologists like me we were dealing with something which was totally new something which was not experienced before 
so we were also learning and adapting as we were going on i felt extremely privileged to be in a position to be able to help all of these people who were going through difficult times who were struggling with mental health and emotional health issues it gave me immense satisfaction that in a year where we all were struggling in different ways i was able to support them as much as possible to take care of themselves and to move forward my job gives me immense satisfaction there is a sense of gratitude which i am able to experience as well i really hope and pray that we all come out of this pandemic much more stronger much more resilient and with a lot more gratitude for people around us as well as for nature and i really hope that uh, the next time we can celebrate the international women's day hopefully in person thank you so much and have a lovely international women's day hi everyone nice greeting to all on this occasion of international women's day i am emmanuel sophi i am a nurse sitting here in luxembourg since 1992 i am here to answer some of your questions about myself and my profession tell us more about the indian nurses here in luxembourg the presence of kerala nurses actually dates from 1975 where my elder sister is one among them she's already enjoying her retirement now uh to my knowledge we are eight kerala nurses still in service in chu hospital kirchbe institute for persons of differently able servio and that is the service for senior how was your initial experience in luxembourg i still remember how challenging it was in the beginning to work in a new situation and they were different from ours multilingual multicultural situation of luxembourg but as a young nurse with a strong support and encouragement from my colleagues and hierarchy i could integrate well as a nurse how was your experience during the pandemic initially it was stressful like everyone else especially without knowing much about the virus as a nurse we had to practice strict covid related protocol including frequent hand washes disinfection keeping social distances wearing masks throughout the working time doing pcr every week etc i have already received my vaccine jabs the only way finally we can get rid of this virus and return to a normal During life this pandemic my thoughts go to all healthcare workers all over the world for the service they do every day and i feel proud to be a nurse a working woman a wife mom sister colleague and friend Thanks to each one of these women for being selfless, fearless and above all doing the best towards humanity. Pat your back, straighten your crown and keep rocking. We all are with you. All those watching, let's stand up in appreciation and put our hands together for some heartful and cheerful clapping. and now the most awaited announcement of the winners as you all know we had conducted two very creative events and thanks for overwhelming response it was obviously flooded malikai kitchen and virtual plating competition and exhibit cooking and plating skills were keeping it innovative people followed all the rules and were judged by two lovely entrepreneurs from luxembourg Ms Sujata Selvaraj an entrepreneur and founder of Indolux Hub and co-founder of Forest System she is also the center of Luxembourg Immigration and Counselor Services we also have Ms Sunita Trivedi she is a chef by profession and has her own cooking class platform spicecurry.com She is also a passionate dancer with her own bollywoodrhythm.com 
and actively involved in Indian Association Luxembourg. Let's hear them announce the winners and how they were chosen. Here is the video from our judges. Namaste. Namaste. Bonjour. I'm Sunita. Moyen. I'm Sujata. Happy International Women's Day. It's such a pleasure to be a part of such a great event. Isn't it Sujata? Yes. Yes, Sunita. And it's so nice that IAL this year is aligning with the Indian Ladies Association of Belgium mm -hmm. to celebrate this International Women's Day and we are so happy to be part of it. That's really amazing. Well, International uh, Women's Day is celebrated throughout the world on 8th of March. It is to celebrate women's achievements. Yes, and raise awareness and uh, gender equality, which is very important at this point. We can really say that. Yes, it's really true. Yes, and during this pandemic period, everyone has gone through so much, especially the women. Yes, and uh, the best part of this pandemic period, I'm not sure though, but still, most of the women were quite innovative, spent a lot of time in their kitchen, uh, preparing some wonderful dishes and catering to their family, and uh, probably innovating. I, for one, did a lot of uh, innovation with the millet recipes, probably which my grandmother would have done it on a daily basis. But, and in fact, I did the same. I did a lot of fusion food and a lot of authentic food, which we didn't miss in Luxembourg. We don't really get it here. Yes. And it was so nice to see we had 20 participants for the Malikai kitchen. Yes, that's true. And the best part is like you and me don't get to taste the food this yes. time. <laughs> but we are going to judge the event based on the visual effects. Yes, it's a visual treat for us. Ladies, hats off to you for putting so much of efforts. A uh, big thanks to Trupti Vagmare, the president of ILAB, which was founded in 2015. And this is the third edition of Malika A Kitchen, for which me and Sunita are the judges. Sunita. Yes, we had 20 entries and we have shortlisted five. And the names are Lala Chicken. Tasty Tokri, Potato Paneer Bird's Nest, yes. Tikki Sabudana Ki, and A Delicious Affair. Yes. Can we have the um, slideshow, please? So our viewers can also see yes. what efforts everyone has put into it. Yes. Well, this is Tikki Sabudana Ki. This is Larla Chicken Drums with Scotch Eggs Hatched Over Layered Rice. Uh, I like this presentation, Sunita, basically due to the fact that there are so many ingredients gone into this dish, but mm -hmm. it has been beautifully plated and uh, they have a homemade pink tube on top of the colored rice, which seems to be an uh, eye-catching uh, dish. It is indeed. It is a visual treat to see this. The next one, please. Yeah, you already saw it is sticky sabudana ki, a simple yet very beautifully presented. It is made of tapioca and potatoes, but it is again eye catching the way it's been presented, neat and clean. And I will not, I really like this one as well. Mm -hmm. The next, next one, a delicious affair. I think a lot of ingredients has gone into this dish as well mm -hmm. uh, but the beauty is it has been plated very well following the rules of the Malay formula. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. So that's an important part of the show. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is potato paneer bird's nest. Potatoes paneer bird nest. It looks very much real. Yeah. It is made of vermicelli and simple potatoes. But the art in it, it, it's recommendable if you see it. Very yeah. detailed work has been done. It's a visual treat actually. It, it is. Yes. This is also very nice. Yeah. The next one please. Tasty Tokri. Yes. Beautifully decorated dish. Yes. Very simple. But I think a lot of hard work must have gone into making this. It is. If you see the tulip she has made, it is kindly. I don't know how many people are aware of it. 
It's a very famous Gujarati dish which takes a lot of efforts to make it and she has made a tulip out of it. They're doing three colors, yellow, red and green and it's really beautiful. Yes. This is Mexican Mastani. Yes, uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, dishes in this uh, presentation but the main highlight of this presentation is there is a face of a woman if you can see in the yes, form. Yes, exactly. It's just here for the viewers. It's yeah. just here. Yeah. You can see it's made with salad. salad. Yeah. And very neatly and beautifully done. Yeah, I think it is a very good uh, uh, idea. Uh, yes. It's a very creative idea. Yes. And best way to celebrate Women's, Women's Day. Women's Day. Yes. Uh, very nice. We very should, nice. Uh, hats off to all the women who have taken part in it. All the 20, uh, 20 contestants. You all are a winner. It doesn't matter we are in the list or not, but you all are a winner. Yes. So let's go with the announcing, the announcing exactly. The third prize winner is potato paneer bird nest. And that dish was by Geetanjali Venkata Subbu Raj. Congratulations to you. It is very nice. And the second winner is uh, Ladla Chicken. Yeah. And that dish was prepared by Sushrita Patnayak. Amazing, really amazing. And the winner is Tasty Tokri. Yes, prepared by Forum Shah. So congratulations to you Forum Shah for winning this year's Malika A Kitchen. Yes, you did a fabulous job as I said all of you. And the judges prize, the fourth prize goes to Sabudana Kitiki. The garnish was awesome, although it was a very simple recipe, but the way it was presented was excellent. Hats off to you. And a special mention for Mexican Mastani for doing such a great work. Yeah, it's a visual treat. Mexican Mastani is a visual treat. All the best to all, the, all of you, all the ladies, and hope to see you all again next year, winning yeah. everyone's heart through yeah. your kitchen. Yes. Namaste. Vadakkam. Yes. Hope to taste the food next year, hopefully. Good evening. Moving forward with our writing, blogging and poetry competition. Well, it was even tougher as poems poured in from all the directions, Hindi and English. And I'm sure our judge had our hands full. Let's welcome Miss Sakshi Nanda, the perfect judge on our judging panel as she is a writer, critic, author, active blogger, editor, reviewer and passionate about writing. Equipped with a master's in English literature from Delhi University, she is here to announce the winners. Good evening everyone. Uh, I'm really happy to be here this evening to celebrate International Women's Day with you all. First of all, what do we do on this special day? Uh, we celebrate the achievements of women. Uh, we spread awareness about uh, women's equality. Uh, and we also acknowledge the various roles that they play in different fields throughout the world. Basically, what we do today is we turn the spotlight on women. We scream, we are, and uh, that is what we celebrate. Um, what if we were to pick the essence of this celebration and carry it into our daily lives, into our usual everyday routines? What if we turn the lens on ourselves in a way to know us better, to evolve and also to thank us in our day-to-day -day lives? So basically what I'm asking you to do is to hold a mirror to ourselves every single day and not just on this special day. What do you think you will see in the mirror? I think you will see two things. One, you will see you. You will see how unique your thoughts are, your dreams are, your aspirations are. You will see the individual like no one else. Um, you will also see, the second thing that you will see is your relationship to the world, the interdependence, the support systems, the important part that we women play in the world to keep it as an organic whole. These two aspects, I think, are truly what defines us. Think about it. 
this is also what the Indian Ladies Association Belgium stands for, this very idea. On the one hand, it gives us a very safe space to express our thoughts, our ideas and our talents. And on the other hand, it acts like the support system, like a wonderful network of women who share their talents, their knowledge, they lend support and even party, even party like no one is watching. That is why when T2 asked me to judge the writing competition, uh, I was very happy. I was over the moon. Uh, but to be honest, I will not call it judging because the moment each of you decided to write, I thought you won. Uh, you got over your inhibitions. Um, you took time out. You decided to stand up for your ideas and you decided to speak up. In a way, you set an example. Your thoughts were food for my thoughts. And for that, I am truly thankful to you. Uh, okay, uh, what was I looking for in the in, in the winner in in the winning entry? Uh, I was looking for a confidence of voice. I was looking for a consistency of idea. I was looking for maybe even a unique portrait, a unique idea of what being a woman means to you. Uh, I would also like to add that correctness of language uh, was um, uh, was a secondary criterion. Uh, I wanted you to be. I, it was your ideas that I really wanted to celebrate. Uh, there were 14 entries in all, uh, which included both prose pieces uh, as well as poems. Um, it was very interesting to note the common themes among all of them to do with the identity of women, to do with the roles and responsibilities uh, that we go through in our daily lives, and also the whole idea of the society's gaze uh, on us. Um, I will get on to tell you about the winners now. Um, the, the, the winning entry, the first prize, uh, goes to a poem by Ankita Kelkar uh, called Meri Pehchan. Uh, it is a perfect piece of writing. It is the voice of a healthcare worker merging with the voice of a woman. Uh, she is seeking acknowledgement for both her roles equally, as equally important. Um, she's talking about the dual responsibility of what it is to be a woman and a woman healthcare worker. It is beautifully written, it has strength of voice, and it is also very, very topical. It is very, very relevant to what we have around us today. The, the second prize uh, goes to Mukta Vazare uh, for her poem, She is Still the Same, Yet So Different. Uh, it is a progressive poem, it compares women of the past with the women of the present and it celebrates this new female identity which was absolutely charming to read. Um, what I really like about the poem is it is literally celebrating change and evolution uh, I, and it, it is an open-minded and confident approach which is really really appealing. So thank you for writing this. Uh, the third prize uh, goes to uh, Unapologetic uh, by Ruchi Mehra. Uh, I think this is one of the most consistent portrait of women of the 21st century. There is a confidence of tone which was which was amazing to read. It, it also mentions, and it's one of the few which men mentions the idea of women as a supportive community and how we actually uplift each other uh, even as we follow our own dreams. I mean, I love how it begins, it says women of 21st century won't be sorry. Um, so well done to the uh, to the first, second and third uh, prize winners. Uh, there is also one which I would like to include as a special mention. Um, this is a, this is a poetic prose piece uh, by uh, Kalpana Vogeti. Uh, it's called Change the Way You See Me. Um, it is the only entry which uh, which is uh, which is so beautifully lyrical that it did not have to be realistic uh, to convey the point. It's, uh, it's short, uh, yet it says a lot. Um, it talks about how society needs to change their gaze towards women. Uh, there is a strength of voice, which I did not, uh, which, which was rare to see. Um, and it was amazing how a me the message got conveyed in such few words without even referring to a single real life example. So this is what my special mention for uh, today uh, will be. Um, 
I was very very happy to have uh, to to read all your uh, all your pieces and uh, like I said they added value to my own thoughts there is so much to learn from each other um, so I want to say a big thank you to all the women for participating in the competition and I hope you always keep writing no matter what language you think in no matter what language you write in just like our fingerprints our thoughts are unique to us our creativity is unique to us and we should celebrate that every day i also want to thank t2 and smitha and the rest of their team for their complete trust in me i admire t2's enthusiasm and her commitment to keep the group informed engaged entertained and most importantly to keep the group together um, I mean, today's wonderful program is uh, proof of uh, uh, that. Uh, I wish uh, the Indian Ladies Association Belgium the best of times uh, uh, in the years to come. Uh, but before I end, I would like to leave you with one of my favorite lines uh, from this competition. Uh, this is from Ipsita Prusti's uh, uh, piece. Uh, it's a very introspective piece uh, called The Precious Mystery. And uh, she asks, one of the lines in the, in the, uh, in the poem is, um, did he, that is meaning God, did he create you or is he admiring you and trying to learn? And I think that is a very powerful thought to end this, uh, to end my uh, note on. Uh, thank you very much for your trust and your time. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you for your participation. As the judges said, each one is the winner for putting in their lot of efforts. The poetries, the blogs were amazing. Keep writing, girls, more power to you. We would like to thank our sponsors. Without them, this event would have been incomplete. So I would like to thank Ms. Sharabani from Indian Foodism and Zain Kutsi from Spice Rack. Thank you very much, guys. We would like to convey our special thanks to Indian Embassy Belgium and Mr. Selva from Indian Association Luxembourg, Mrs. Radha Nikhade from Dutch Indian Women Association for being a part of this event and making it a memorable one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Selva Raj, President of Indian Association Luxembourg. First of all, I wish you all very happy International Women's Day. I'm sure all of you will agree that every day should be celebrated as a Women's Day. However, to honor their achievements, the United Nations has announced March 8th as a International Women's Day. Particularly during this pandemic period, we are thankful to all the women in the healthcare workers who work tirelessly in the front line. Without those dedication and valuable contribution, the situation could now be this easy. I would like to bring it to all of your attention. Contribution of our Indian healthcare workers in Luxembourg and Belgium, some of whose video you might watch today. I would like to highlight our own Nightingales in Luxembourg. Most of you will not know there is a family of sisters. To my knowledge, there are eight of them from Kerala who have worked in Luxembourg healthcare sector since 1970. There seems to be a paramedical professional, Indian psychologist practicing in Luxembourg as well. You will hear more from Emmanuel, Sophie and Akriti Varshini. Special thanks to Triti, who is the founder, president of Indian Ladies Association Belgium for organizing and including Indian Association in this event. Best wishes to all the women for their future endeavors. Hello ladies, my name is Radha Nikhade. I am the founder of Dutch Indian Women's Association Netherlands, also known as Diva. I'm a chartered accountant by profession and run my own business in accounting and finance. I'm also a mother of two children and very proud to be a woman. 8th March marks as International Women's Day. Every life begins with a woman. Celebration of Women's Day is an amazing opportunity to thank a woman for her courage in harmony with compassion. 
every woman deserves love and respect on behalf of diva i wish you all talented beautiful kind and courageous ladies a very very happy women's day as the world is waging a war against pandemic our true warriors are the healthcare workers i take this opportunity to thank all the healthcare workers for taking care of our lives more power to you also i would like to thank indian ladies association belgium for organizing this fantastic event i have known the founder tripti wagmare since 9 years and she has been doing amazing work towards women empowerment i wish her loads of success also on behalf of diva i look forward to more events in association with the indian ladies association belgium take care have a fantastic weekend and enjoy the event bye thank you everyone for watching us for being so supportive always indian ladies association belgium wishes you a very happy women's day once again i would like to take this pride saying that i have this wonderful support of superwoman army with me without them i am not standing where i am today this event wouldn't have pulled out so well i would like to thank shraddha zaveri my backbone smita pawar for being there always dasina anudev for helping us gather all the information my inspiration and guide throughout dr monica lamba charu khosla and shreya thank you so much girls and everybody who is involved in the event of course without you this event wouldn't have been a successful one thank you so much and see you soon again live uh, till then bye bye have a nice day and enjoy your time